touch me like I'm an ordinary man Have a look in my eyes Underneath my skin there is a violence It's got a gun in its hands Ready to make, ready to make breath Ready to make sense of anyone, anything Anyone, anything, anyone, anything Anyone, anything, anyone, anything Black holes living in the side of your face Razor wires spinning around your eyes This is the first trailer released by CD Projekt Red for a new and upcoming game, Cyberpunk 2077. So I'm kind of going to just point out some interesting tidbits that I thought I saw in the video. Alright. Alright, so first off, I found this to be particularly interesting. Because while, as you'll see, and I've already seen, um, this female character is obviously a cyborg of some sort, very heavily modified. However, her eyes are not. So I don't know if that's just something that they put in the beginning of this trailer to make the character look more human or whatever. I don't really know. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Alright, coming up next is a bullet flying in our character's face, which just explodes when it hits her face, implying that she's obviously made out of some sort of metal or something like that. But what's most interesting about this is they said you can build your character from the ground up and you can get implants and stuff in the game, like upgrades for your character, essentially. So maybe there's an upgrade where you can reinforce your skeleton or something or your skin, you know, basically make yourself impervious to certain types of bullets. That'd be really cool. Yeah, so coming up next, we're going to get our first look at the police of Night City. Um, I found this kind of interesting because I guess there's going to be a distinction between the regular police, like this guy we see here, and Max Hack, which we'll see later. You know, this guy, he's pretty well covered up, you know. Like, he has a helmet on, he has, like, you know, padded shoulders, so I'm pretty sure he's, you know, mostly human, not that augmented. Alright, yeah, we see a nice little visual effect there, the bullet coming out of the chamber and the casing there. You see a red shoe there with blood on the ground. You know, something bad happened here. Um, yeah, coming up now is something I didn't notice the first time. Is actually on these pillars here. I don't know if you can see it to the right of that lady with like the robot arm. There's actually graffiti on those pillars. And to the far left, kind of cut off on the screen, there's also graffiti. And I found that kind of interesting. Um, I know they said somewhere that the city isn't like all new it's kind of built over the top of you know an older city kind of give it like a Blade Runner-ish feel they said so um, I think we're going to see a lot of like uniqueness in the city like while we may see a lot of modern things we're going to see like, a lot of graffiti and stuff so I thought that was pretty cool alright so moving on you see some bullets flying through there we see the rest of the police actually. There's opening fire on this renegade cyborg. Um, 
And what I found interesting again in this picture is this thing on the ground. You can kind of see it. It's like a metal thing. I don't know if it has any significance or not, but it kind of caught my interest um, cause it doesn't look like anything like around there is going to like just fall over. So I don't really know what that is because I'm pretty sure it's not covered. It's really low or maybe it's like a destroyed vehicle or something. Mm, I don't really know. All right, moving on. Um, get to see a better look at the city right there. See, it's really high up, really vertical. So it makes me kind of wonder if there's going to be like a lot of verticality in this um, game or not. Like going in buildings or stuff, or how much the buildings are actually going to be able to go into. But stopping on this frame, I stopped here because um, you can see more bullets are just kind of exploding as they touch her body on her shoulder section, as you see there. And actually on the side of her waist, on her dress actually, or whatever that thing she's wearing is. Um, so this further shows that she's pretty heavily modified. Um, like her entire body basically is just like artificial. Um, so yeah, that might show like the level of implants that you have to get to start going insane. If that's something they're going to implement or not. Um, cause I guess that's how it works in the cyberpunk universe. 2077 is more augmented you are, the more prone you are to going crazy essentially. All right, coming up, we get to see our first real good look at this character um, and her crazy mantis-like blade arms coming off her forearms. Um, yeah, it looks like she caused like, a lot of damage with those uh, people around her. You know, a lot of blood everywhere. You know, on her white dress too. Um, pretty interesting. Kind of wondering if you can get that for your character in game. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Or unless it's just like an aesthetic thing, or if it's only for the sake of this trailer. Um, yeah, and also this character is very scantilously dressed, um, which makes me wonder why, whether there's like an actual reason for it or if it's just because sex sells, you know, in games. Just have like a skimpy chick like in your trailer. That's most likely probably the reason. All right, coming up now, we're at our first look of a vehicle in this game, this flying vehicle of some sorts. Um, this is really cool for a few reasons. I mean, this could mean that, you know, you're probably going to get to drive vehicles, and if you do, they may be flying type vehicles, or maybe that's like the only vehicles in the city. Um, I don't really know. And I mean, obviously, this is just like a police vehicle. It's not a civilian vehicle, so they could look way different. Um, and maybe there might be even vehicle customization, such as in games as Saints Row the Third. Um, really cool stuff. A lot to look forward to. All right, and this police vehicle appears to be scanning the area um, in some way, which I heard that may be something called um, brain dancing, which essentially the people watching the news, which will be coming up next, um, can experience like the feelings of like the people that are actually there. Um, yeah, but the main reason I stopped in this clip was to kind of show diversity of the victims. You have the chick up in the top, you know, still knelt down, not really reacting to anything. And you have some guy in kind of some blue shoes and pants, you know, kind of like punkish. And you have some lady in a red dress to the right. And you have like a businessman at the bottom, um, in like a suit. So this kind of shows that this attack was kind of, I want to say, maybe like random, not really like, not really like this person picked targets that way, they just kind of cracked in a way. All right, coming up next, we're gonna see a Max Tech agent, who I guess he's with the police department of Night City, like he's with those other guys, but he's a little more special. Um, I think they're supposed to be augmented cyborgs, essentially, like the same as that chick right there, except they're called in to kind of hunt them down when the regular police can't handle the situation. Um, so yeah, I mean, the main reason I stopped in this still, though, was to show the badge, police department in Night City, you know, I guess that's saying the locale the game will take place in is Night City. Now this guy right here, um, the gun he's using, I guess, is a Militech gun? As we're going to see written on it in a few seconds here. Yeah, um, I guess this is kind of pretty important because in the original pen and paper game, um, 
I guess this is like a gun in the game, Militech, like a company or whatever it was. So I guess they're really paying homage to the um, original game while making it very modern. All right, now this part ends with him pulling the trigger, inferring that, you know, she's really not gonna make it. However, coming up here, you'll see that both of them seem to be inside of this whatever they're in, like maybe that police flying vehicle we saw earlier, and he's kinda just looking at her, and she appears to have no hair. And she puts on those weird goggle things too. Which I don't know if there's like any importance to those or not, or maybe that's like the call sign of Max Tech, like they wear those. I mean, I don't really know why, because I figure like if they're that cybernetically enhanced, they'd have they're, like their equipment basically built into their eyes. Unless that's maybe to like cover up their faces or something. Um, I don't really know, but there may be some importance to that. Found this bit pretty funny coming when it's ready. Um, I think that's great that they're not rushing this game because you know it looks like it'd be really good. Until new info comes out, see you guys.